Well, one of the things that become, that's crucial for us is what we call asset transformation. So a lot of the women that we work with start mainly in animal husbandry. We believe, however, that, the long, that in the longer term, for them to have stable income, they're going to have to be into small, into small commerce. And for them to do that, they have to get access to markets that can be as much as four or six hours walk for them. So the moment where sort of the three or four goats turn into five or six goats, and they can sell a few of them and buy a horse, is a critical moment in their 18 months with us. Um, so we, uh, a lot of our women, we, it's, because at, at, at that moment they're, they're no longer limited by the amount of produce they can carry on their head. You know, they can suddenly carry three or four times as much to market. Um, so we really encourage the asset transformation process. And uh, it's, uh, but it's the most we can do, you know, Change at another level would be a so where I work, it's, it's an area called Baitarib, and a truck can't get up to it. And you know, a four four wheel drive pickup truck can, um, though, but not in a financially sustainable way. So you know, an NGO we can send our pickup truck. You know, the day that the government remakes that road, so that the big produce trucks can come down from Mark and get up to buy Tarib will in a moment instantly transform the area. You know, the area is full of avocado and uh, grapefruit and mango trees that leave fruit rotting in the ground because uh, women can't get them to market. They're too heavy to move in large quantities. So, uh, you know, a piece of the puzzle is clearly infrastructure. But that kind of in infrastructure is so far beyond anything that a little, that an NGO or you know a foundation like like mine can invest in, that you know we don't really even look to.